What is the strangest experience you have had with a friend's parent? I was best friends with a girl from grade 4 to grade 7. A few years ago I ran into her parents at my brother's birthday party. The dad got super drunk and started hitting on me hard. Im married and I was there with my young children it was at my brother's house and the guy's wife was right there. Even then my brother still had to come save me from that creep. One time I'm at my friend's house and his father comes up to me and he asks if I want anything to drink. I politely ask if I could have a glass of water. Dead serious he responds with oh sorry I don't think we have any water. Would you like some pasta instead? Thinking it's some kind of joke I say sure. He goes into the kitchen and comes back a little later with a drinking glass full of spaghetti and hands it to me before going back to whatever he was doing. Needless to say, I was quite confused. Edit. Thanks so much for all the upvotes. I practically lived over at my friend's house from my mid to late teens. They were a devout Pentecostal family and his dad was treasurer of their church. I go over to their house, walk in and both parents are immediately in my face. Did you steal money from US? Someone broke into their old top desk and stole 2k from the church funds. They accused me, then the mother broke down and started crying. Sitting on the couch, hands in her face bawling. Then they all started praying for the return of the money. Then they prayed over me for guidance, to do the right thing. I thought, WTH. What they didn't know, was that their son, my friend, had his eye on a Tekanikon F3 camera for a few months and his parents were old buy it for him. What really blew my mind was he bought the camera, and they never suspected him of stealing the money, and he never apologized to me for it. Edit, change prayed to prayed. I was friends with this boy and we would go to his house after school and his mom would watch me till my mom was done with work. Well one day we get to his door and there is a note on it saying we need to go to my house. The weird thing was that there was loud music coming from inside. We went to my house and waited and my stepdad and mom came home soon after. My mom obviously found that weird, so she ran over there and come to find out his mom tried to commit suicide. It was really sad, but she seemed to have gotten help and gotten better. But it was an experience I would never forget. Senior year of high school, I asked out a girl right before school ends for the summer. She said she wanted to stay friends. Bummer, but at least I'll never kick myself for not trying. I was still invited to her graduation party at her house so I went, as I also enjoyed being friends with her regardless of any romance. At the party her dad met me in the kitchen and patted me on the back saying bummer about her saying no. If it was up to me yeah I'd already be my son-in-law. Not sure how to respond I awkwardly laughed and said thanks. Not 20 minutes later he walked into a shed outside and asked us teenagers if we wanted to see a magic trick. He then proceeded to pull a dove out of his pants. A living, breathing dove. The guy was slash is one of the nicest people I've met, but I never knew what he was going to say or do next. I was coming back from the annual county fair with a childhood friend and his cousin, heading to my friend's house. Unfortunately I got really sick at the fair, and was sprawled out in the back of my friend's cousin's car trying my best not to puke everywhere. It didn't help that we live out in the mountains, so the drive was unbearable out of desperate yawn for my stomach pain to pass. I didn't even turn on the lights when I got to his house and literally fell onto the bed in the dark, only to find his dad under me snoring. Apparently my friend's dad was staying up waiting for us to get home, and fell asleep on his bed. I obviously woke him up, and he freaked out, turned on the lights and yup he was in his underwear. When he saw it was us he laughed at the situation, but it was definitely one of the most uncomfortable experiences of my life. I'm just glad I didn't throw up on him. My lifelong friend's dad is a nurse practitioner. When I was 19 I lost a lot of weight in a short amount of time, so I went in to see him. He gave me a rectal exam I, e, stuck his fingers up my butt. He had big fat fingers, so it was painful and extremely awkward. I'll occasionally get a, hey, remember that time my dad stuck his fingers up your butt, from my buddy. As a professional skydiving instructor, we are required to have an FAA medical certificate which requires a doctor's physical examination every few years. Since one of our pilot's mom is a doctor who offers the instructors a very nice discount, we pretty much all go to her for the physical. 
This means that frequently in the bar after work, depending on which direction the conversation is going, somebody will loudly interject, Hey Alex, remember that time your mom touched my balls? Was friends with a girl, whose dad murdered her mom. I was at their house shortly before it happened, and remember him playing a backquote game where he'd hold pillows over our faces, and have us raise our hands, when we couldn't breathe anymore. Guess how he murdered his wife? When I was 15 one of my best friend's mothers was a raging alcoholic. Every day she'd start drinking in the afternoon, and be blackout drunk by 9pm. Whenever I was over the drunk as she got the more fixated she'd become with my bust. She didn't have much herself, and was convinced I was wearing padded bras. She even made me take off my bra one night, to give to her to inspect. We were all really uncomfortable, but it was the only way, to get her to stop talking about my breasts. We picked up my friend's mom one night at a bar, cause she was drunk, and on the way back she kept yelling I'm not going to frick you, to me in the back seat, and I was high out of my mind. But yeah that was the strangest one hour ride of my life. In 4th grade, my best friend lived just down the street from the school, so we would regularly go hang out there after class. Her mom was a dope head and her stepdad was a drunk, and routinely during sleepovers we would hear them having very loud six. My friend told me one day she had found a huge orange vibrator in her mom's room, and then explained to me what, in fact, that was. A couple weeks later we walked over after school, to find the house littered with bright orange shreds. The family boxer had found her mom's vibrator too. When I was in high school, I was having dinner at my girlfriend's parents place one night, and she has two older brothers, that were there as well. So I was setting my plate down at the table, when suddenly I feel someone slap my ass, I turn around, and it was her dad. We both just looked at each other, and then he apologizes, and say he thought I was one of his sons. I could tell he was pretty embarrassed. That was an awkward dinner lol. Especially because he didn't like me very much. I was maybe 12 to 13 years old, and staying the night at a friend's house. Her parents took us out to a diner for dinner and my friend's dad was staring at me and finally said, you have very beautiful lips. I froze, it was super weird, luckily my friend piped up, and yelled at her dad for being creepy, took my hand, and we left the table for a while. Her mom said nothing. It's not as bad as someone here, but I will share mine. I was around 11 over 12, and had this friend from secondary school. We would spend the weekend having sleepovers etc. One weekend after her birthday we went into town, and after her mum told her not to spend her birthday money buying presents for a boy she liked, she did. Long story of over infatuated teen girl uninterested teen boy, I think her mum was trying to help her we were sitting in a cafe with her mum after, and the mum asked, did you spend all your birthday money on that boy? After a tense back and forth with my friend denying and trying to say no, the mum turned to B and asked if she had. I tried to avoid the question. After being told I was not allowed to lie I had to tell the truth. I told the truth, she had. Friend gets upset I apologize to friend and say I had to. She asked Q mum basically saying I was a dick and didn't have to tell her. I could have told her I respected my friend's privacy and I didn't want to say anything. I don't think I ever really hung out at their house again after that. And her mum cornered me at parents evening trying to have a dig about not spending time with her daughter anymore. I feel bad in hindsight it wasn't my friend's fault. 12 year old me just really didn't want to get caught in another family's drama. In high school, my friend was dating a guy and we both were invited by him to his house. His mom was super mean though, and acted like us being there was awful. I rang the doorbell, and was invited inside by the mom. I was there for an hour, and had to go outside, to get something out of my car. I came back inside and heard you make I'm sorry, yes? You didn't ring the doorbell, before barging into my home. Oh I'm sorry, who are- should I go back outside? We wait to be invited inside in this house. I went back outside, and the door was closed on me. I rang the doorbell, and heard the mom say who is it? Hi it's Rustmat here to see your son. Just a moment. Opens door please come inside. Turns out every time you leave the house even for a second she expected the pageantry of a first invite. 
A friend's father was absolutely convinced that I was only friends with his daughter for money. They weren't exactly rich, maybe a tiny bit better off than we were, but it was impossible for him to know that. When her Dreamcast needed a new cable after one of her pets chewed through it, he came storming into her room while we were hanging out and demanded to know why I thought he would buy me something. My friend had to jump in and explain that it was her cable, not mine. He'd complain if I spent the night because he had to feed me like I was a stray cat. It was incredibly weird. The worst part is he made extremely inappropriate jokes all throughout dinner when I was there. I was maybe 14. Looking back, I'm starting to wonder if he wasn't just high. My friend explained that he kept one fingernail long to pick his nose, but I've been told that is not its only purpose. None of his behavior ever made sense. Edit. Just to clarify, since people keep asking, he was not Asian. The whole family was very white. Caught my friend's parents having sex in their living room. Her dad had the biggest dick I've ever seen. Rural Maryland. Our area is very 50 over 50 white and black, with the occasional Filipino thrown in. Anyway, I was a friend's place once. Were 16 in the same classes in high school. I'm black and my friend is white. We were sitting out back shooting BBs at some aluminum cans and bottles. My friend's father comes out and watches us for a while, whistled and shook his head, then took the BB rifle from my hand and said, look here, Americans need to know how to shoot, even niggas. He started teaching me well, us, my friend wasn't that good either to aim and whatnot, and that's how I learned to shoot. This actually just happened about a year ago. I was at my friend's birthday party. It was a backyard barbecue with family and friends. There was a lot of drinking starting at noon and going into the wee hours of the morning. I ended up tripping on the patio and skinning my knee. My friend's parents invited me inside to get cleaned up. They sat me on the kitchen counter and cleaned my knee. My friend's mom went upstairs to get a band-aid while she was gone for just that 5 minutes. My friend's dad got real close to me and said I want to frick you. I want to frick you right here, right now. I had no idea how to respond. His wife was just in the other room. I just stared at him in disbelief. I don't think I ever actually provided an answer before his wife came back. He then took my drink and poured it down the drain saying no more drinking for you. Edit. I'm sorry for anyone that thought I was underage. I was old enough to be drinking legally in the US. We were white water rafting in Maine. I was in a truck with my friend, a different friend's dad, two 10 year old boys going to the pickup spot at the end of the rafting route. I'm in the passenger seat and the dad is driving. I was about I was about 17 at the time, and the topic of being a man came up. He talked about how sometimes you just need to follow your dreams. We're all listening at this point. He then tells us this isn't his first life. Told us he moved to the west coast when he was real young and started a family, wife, kids. He said liked them decently enough, but he wanted to get more out of life. So one day he went out to pick up some milk and never went back. I don't know how the kids in the truck took the story, but my friend and I were pretty WTF the rest of the trip. Edit. Yo er equals slash equals your went to see a girl my bff was interested in feed seen each other a few times and we were all good friends anyway go into her parents house walk through to kitchen and she goes into garden to get something leaving me by the back door my mate a few paces back on other side of kitchen in front of door that leads to the hall while waiting for state girl my mate notices a basket of clean washing on the kitchen worktop that had obviously just been brought in from outside. On top is a pair of red and black frilly panties. My mate thinks it's funny to pick these up. Pretend to sniff them and then put them on his head. As has doing this has facing me with back to the open doorway to the hall. I literally cold and speak from shock as behind was the girl's mother stood watching what he was doing. He kinda clocked the expression on my face. Slowly turned round and literally just looked at girl's mum and said sorry in a very sheepish voice whilst shamefully taking the panties off his head. The mum said something about them being hers, and not the girl's anyway, but by that point we were making a swift exit. Painfully cringy. That was like 25 years ago. Coincidentally my wife now works with the mother and we've met her out at company parties a few times. 
I don't think she remembers me, but I don't have the courage to ask. I was about 17. Went to visit a friend but all of the kids were out shopping for school clothes. I found his dad in the garage sitting in his new ice fishing shanty. He had it all set up to see how things would fit, including a bucket of water for where the hole would be. I grabbed a pole, dropped a line in the bucket, and we shot the breeze for about an hour. No one was surprised when they got home from shopping. I kinda cherish youth that memory. Ron's dad was very kind and funny. Not a friend, but an ex. His mother used to basically nice force me into not leaving each time I came over. He was 25 and still lived at home, and she was so eager for me to date him and stick around, that she would go out of her way to dote on me aggressively each time I was there. She would find ways to make me stay longer, and even outright say it was rude to leave so soon, and find another board game, or another movie, or another snack, to get me to stay in the house longer. She bought me weird presents, like knickknacks and porcelain figurines. He wasn't a bad dude, but mommy dearest had babied him so much he didn't know how to do anything for himself. He expected to be taken care of, by me. A then 19 year old, who hadn't ever started college yet, and was working part time at a Dunkin Donuts. FFS, I still lived at home too. His mom just expected, that she could completely enable him and baby him, then hand him off to a girl, who would do the same for the rest of his life. Bitch was psycho, we didn't date for long. When I was a teenager, I found out, that my friend's father called me headlights, because I had big breasts. Another friend's father liked to put his hands all over me, I avoided going over there as much as possible. It was in the early days of our romantic relationship, and we had been friends for nearly a decade before that. I had helped her dad install a new home theater system complete with a satellite dish outside that had servos in it, so it could aim itself at different satellites. I got a call from him a week later, because he couldn't get the system to work properly. To be fair it was quite a complicated system, but it was all hooked up to a single touch screen remote thingy. I talked him through it all, and he was thank frick now I can enjoy this pronoun in peace. I just chuckled, and then he thanked me, and invited me over to check out the new system. He immediately stumbled on his words as he realized what he was saying. I was like Nick, did you just invite me over to watch pronoun with you? It was just his generous personality coming through, and I was laughing my ass off. He said yeah actually that's probably not a very good idea seeing as you're going out with my daughter. What was I thinking lol. He was a fun guy. Lots of funny awkward moments like this in the years I knew him. When we were 18, we were driving around the sketchy part of town fairly later at night. Just chatting and singing along to music. Wandering about as teenagers do. We were on a double date I often slept over my friend's house and spent a lot of time with his family. My boyfriend's mom worked with his mom, so he also knew my friend's family well. Friend had been dating his girlfriend for a couple of years, and she of course knew his parents well. We saw his dad's car, which was surprising, as it was at least midnight and he usually went to bed early. We then saw his dad's car pull over and pick up what was clearly a prostitute. We could clearly see and recognize his dad driving, and saw her lean down in the seat toward him as they drove past us. After that we were all very quiet, I drove everyone home, and took friend back to my house, at his request. I kind of figured he didn't want to confirm, that his dad wasn't home, where he should have been, just to maintain the pretense, that it may not have been him. And then we all never spoke about it again, but the three of us who saw just had a hard time being comfy around either of his parents again. A friend's dad was an artist. We came in from playing one day, to see another dad from our school, lashed to a cross, but naked with a huge boner. Artist was doing a painting of Jesus. Later found out crucified dad was gay. In high school my girlfriend's mom would to let us drink, and do drugs at her place. At the time we though it was cool. Until one incident, when we realized how truly fricked this woman was. One night we had all been drinking, the mother included. Somehow one of the fellows, a rod friend of my girlfriend's, ended up passed out in the bathtub. Now I can't be sure to what extent she did, but at one point I walked into the bathroom to piss and found the mum fondling this kid we were maybe 15 at the time. 
Suddenly my whole paradigm shifted, and I realized how messed up it was that this woman in her 40s would let the lot of us teens hang around using drugs and alcohol in her home slash occasionally with her. Who before anyone asks people do ask, when I tell the story, if this woman was good looking, no. She was not. Not on your drunkest day. Hanging with my best friend after school, like always. His parents decided to have that last fight that dissolved the marriage. Were laughing and watching TV and the sound of adult voices got louder and louder, until it was shouting, and sounds of hysterical crying. It was like a storm rolling in from nowhere. Several to my friend and I were sitting in his kitchen and suddenly an unbelievable horrible smell hits us. We frantically look for the cause, when my friend goes down the hallway, where the bathroom is, and asks his dad, why he left the door up next one. Same friend, same father. I step into his flat, and walk down the hallway, when I pass the bathroom door, and see his father sitting there, door wide open and grunting. He doesn't look up. When he hears me and asks me, assuming I'm my friend, who just rang the door, while a deep flap underlines his words. Shocked look when he sees me, and this awkward silence of two people who just shared a shoot. Just the slow realization, that my best friend's cool dad was battling some major demons. When you're young, having an adult who will take you shooting, let you drive their truck on the back roads at 11 to 12, teach you how to weld and fix cars, is amazing. Then you get older, and realize that you were shooting guns in the middle of a suburb, your friend's dad was drinking, and needed a ride home and none of the welding instruction was done with proper safety gear, and you realize, that the adult you idolized and looked up, to was an alcoholic endangering kids. I was 12 years old, over at a friend's place. When I had to leave to go home his mother came running after me screaming that I couldn't leave. I was already halfway down a set of stairs and just knew something was wrong. So I said I had to and continued on. She was still screaming for me to come back. I told my parents when I got home and they looked at each other. Then nothing more happened. A few weeks later I was over there again. Everything was normal. My friend asked if I wanted to sleep over. He had the northeast so of course I wanted to. My parents didn't let me though. True story, that freaking night his mother beat him to death with a wooden boat he had made in woodshop class. She was a diagnosed schizophrenic. My parents knew, they told me after his death. <laughs>